Welcome to our daily Mass. Today's Mass will be celebrated by our parochial vicar, Father Bill Williams. Please stand. Good morning. Today we come together to celebrate the uh, feast of St. Raymond Nonatus, which means not born. Uh, a uh, member of the Order of the Mercies and uh, living in the time of the Barbary, Barbary um, pirates and how they uh, would kidnap uh, people from his country and he used money. Uh, his work was to be a person who would go and, and uh, actually um, use money to get the people out of uh, confinement and to send them home. And when he ran out of the money, he uh, was made hostage. Interestingly enough, they put a lock on his lips because he uh, was preaching to the Islamic people and converting them. And the leadership of Barbary was not very happy with that. And so when he was released, uh, his lock was taken off and he was sent home to be made a cardinal of Spain and uh, dying one year later. is a uh, patron saint of uh, midwives and um, women who are to be born, uh, have their children born um, by a C-section. And so as we enter into the celebration, we come to recognize how God calls us into his gift of life in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Grace and peace and love of God our Father and of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. My sisters and brothers, as we are called by God to be mindful of the ways that he calls us into our missionary state of life, we are open to his mercy and his love. Lord, you are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You have come to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You, have, you intercede for us to the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by watchful care keep safe what you have nurtured. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and you until the Holy Spirit, and God forever and ever. reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. When I came to you, brothers and sisters, proclaiming the mystery of God, I did not come with sublimity of words or of wisdom. For I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. I came to you in weakness and fear and much trembling and my message and my proclamation were not worth persuasive words of wisdom, but with a demonstration of spirit and power, so that your faith might rest not on human wisdom, but on the power of God. The word of the Lord. God. The response is, Lord, I love your commands. How I love your, Lord, your law, O oh Lord. It is my meditation all the day. Lord, I love your commands. Your command has made me wiser than my enemies, for it is ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers when your decrees are my meditation. I have more discernment 
than the elders because I observe your precepts. From every evil way, I withhold my feet that you may keep your words. From your ordinances, I turn not away, for you have instructed me. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus came to Nazareth where he had grown up and once, according to the custom, went into the synagogue and on the Sabbath day he stood up and read what was handed to the scroll of the prophet Isaiah. He unrolled the scroll and found the passage where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to captives and recovery of sight to the blind, and let the oppressed go free, and to proclaim a year of acceptable to the Lord. Rolling up the scroll, he handed it back to the attendants and sat down. The eyes of all in the synagogue looked intently at him. He said to them, today the scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing, and all spoke highly of him, were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. They also asked, is this not the son of Joseph? He has said to them, surely you will quote me this proverb, physician cure yourself, and say, do here in your native place the things that we have heard were done in Capernaum. He said, Amen, I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own native place. Indeed, I tell you, there were many widows in Israel in the day of Elijah, when the skies were closed for three and a half years, and a severe famine spread over the entire land. It was to none of these that Elijah was sent, but only the widow of Zarephath in the land of Sidon. And again, there were many lepers in Israel in the day of a time of Elijah the prophet, yet none of them was cleansed, but only Naaman the Syrian. When the prophet, when the people in the synagogue heard this, they were filled with fury and rose to drive him out of the town and led him to the brow of the hill on which the town had been built to hurl him headlong. But he passed through the midst and of them and went away. The Gospel of the Lord. It seems to us in our time of life, uh, as we hear from the saints of this reality of following in the footsteps of Jesus. And St. Raymond was known for that in his life as a brother of mercy, as a religious priest. And uh, his desire to be a person who would go and uh, secure people who were held ransom uh, and bringing them back from the barbary coast to their homes of freedom. Even so much as giving himself up as a ransom and recognizing that they could get more money from him than they could from anyone else because they figured that they could get the money from Rome. So what does the courage of St. Raymond teach us? I think it teaches us the courage that God filled him with from birth. When he was born, his mother died, and they did a C-section to bring him out of the womb. And by the grace of God, he lived to be this man of great courage 
and great strength. And I think that courage and strength for us comes from his example of his relentless desire to serve the Lord, recognizing the Lord would be with him in all things and at all times, in all places. And I think that that is what we can learn from him today, that the Lord is with us in this time, in this place, that the Lord is here to call us to be courageous in the ways that we live and in the accomplishments that we do. Growing up as a young man, I remember early on that there were all these different societies created of people who committed themselves to their faith and in their practices of life were witnesses of the faith of the church and not allowing anything that was against the practice of the church to be done in their businesses or in their lives. It's in a sense the way Raymond lived his life, recognizing the practice of God in his heart that gave him life, recognizing the practice that God put him into of ransoming people from captivity, of being an ambassador for Christ and for faith, willingly to be relentless in his preaching and his teaching and his encouragement to the Islamic people of being open to faith and to life. I think most especially was his example of who he was. And I think that's the courage we are given to today. It's the courage of recognizing how God calls us into the same gift of life. Being courageous to do what we are asked to do in our days and not seeing it as something that is ordinary but our actions of life are extraordinary. Who we are calls us to be extraordinary people in an ordinary world. Being people of faith and hope and life, witnesses of the truth of Christ within us. Today we turn to the Lord and we call upon his name. We pray through the intercession of the missionaries of mercy and St. Raymond, whose feast day we celebrate, that God may show us how he calls us to be courageous in our lives and our time, we pray to the Lord. We pray this day for the people who are midwives and for women who are born with uh, unexpected births, uh, with difficult conditions, that through the intercession of St. Raymond, they may be delivered into this world with good health and life, we pray to the Lord. For ourselves and the courage God calls us to in being Ambassadors of his truth in our ordinary world, we pray to the Lord. We pray for Leonard Almer, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. And we continue to pray for those affected by the COVID virus and by the various uprisings that are occurring in our nation we pray to the Lord. For the people of California and the ways that they are affected by the natural disasters that are occurring, the people of Louisiana and the surrounding areas that are being affected by the 
flooding and the rain, so we pray to the Lord. And for the prayers that are in the silence of each one of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Father of mercy and life, hear your people as we call upon your name. In and through the intercessions of St. Raymond, help us to always be courageous. To being witnesses of your faith in all that we do through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given, human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, and it will become for us our spiritual drink. Thank you. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that this, my sacrifice and yours, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what is celebrated in mystery may be accomplished in power through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, mighty and eternal God, for all goodness you create us. And when, you, when Jesus was justified, you condemned us. And in mercy, you redeem us through Christ our Lord. And through the angels, we praise your majesty and dominions adore your power and tremble before you. The heavens and the virtues of heaven, the blessed seraphim, worship together in exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You indeed are holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, gave you thanks. He broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice once more, gave thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Holy Father, with Gregory John, the Archbishop, with Joel and Bernard, his brother bishops, and all your clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and her spouse, St. Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles and the glorious saints, especially St. Raymond, and all who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our day. By the help of your mercy, make us always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, said to your apostles, My peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, and blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. If you are viewing this Mass online, please, please pray this prayer for when one cannot receive communion. My Jesus, on the day of my baptism, you poured your love into my heart through the Holy Spirit, who unites me eternally to you. Through that same Spirit, I pledge my love and adore you, present in your most holy body and blood. Though I cannot consume you in this sacred banquet, let me be consumed by your complete desire for me so that my longing for you may be filled by your love alone and your mercy overflow through me into this world so in need. Amen.
Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, O Lord, that being the food of charity, it may conform our hearts and stir us to service of our neighbor through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We go forth this day to love, serve, and to grow in the awareness of God's mercy and love within us. Hope you all have a blessed day.